Hey all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world of Wayne. I've received another package in the post for the folks over at Agora Models. We now have pack two of the Terminator build. Now everything you see me building here is available over from the folks at Agora Models. I have put the link down there and you can get this from pack one and this is worldwide so you'll be able to get hold of this. This is over 12 packs, it normally comes in 10 stages per pack and we're going to be doing 10 stages today of pack two. Now pack one, as you can see over here, this is everything we did in pack one uh, and I have got the video for that just up here if you want to check that out. But once again if you do want to build this yourself, head on over there and you'll be able to sign up for that. You'll also see the other models that Agora Models have got at the moment. You've got the uh, super snake which i'm currently building at the back there and from september we've got the shelby cobra so that's going to be a, a brilliant future of builds coming through the uh, folks of agora models now when you do get the packs you do get the instructions in them and the instructions are also online and basically they just give you the full details of everything that we're going to be building in this pack and step by step of what there is to do uh, for it. Now just like pack one, we have got a fix for the fingers where it's just showing us how to put the sleeves in. Uh, and that's just as an extra uh, item that we've got in this pack. Uh, but when we get to that, I'll explain that a little bit more. Uh, but as you can see, you've got everything for the next 10 packs in here. And at the back of the manual here, as you can see here, for customers only of the Agora Models Build Determinator, you will be able to get hold of the plasma rifle and that's going to be made available to you. I've laid everything out here. I can't wait to get cracking on this one. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Let's get cracking. Okay, stage 11, we're going to be assembling the neck and the drawers. It is worth noticing that this section of the neck we don't actually use in this part. So we can leave that to one side. Uh, the pieces that we do need are the neck joints looking just like that. And we need the screws that come with that. Now, also in this uh, pack, just get these screws out. Uh, we have got some bushes in there. You don't want to chuck them. We're going to need them just later on, just in this stage. So I'm going to put them to one side as well. Now in this stage, there's two kinds of screws. You've got a longer one and a shorter one. It's the shorter ones that we're going to need first. They are two dime six mil screws. And all we're going to do first off is we're going to put this joint together. As you can see, we've got lugs here that's just going to meet the lugs this side. And then we're going to screw this in just from the two screws in this side here and here. So we get the screwdriver out and get those in. And that's the first one in. One more just to go in the other side there. Load that up and put that in. Nice and tight. So that's the two in there. And there is also one more to put in just down the bottom there, just to hold this base section in as well. So we get that one in as well. So it's three screws all together to keep this joint into place. And again, make sure it's nice and tight because this is going to hold a lot of weight for the head eventually. Just like that, when that's completed, there we go. Now we can put that to one side, because we're gonna need some parts that we worked on from pack one, which was the lower jaw, and also the head motor joint, which looks just like that. Now we're gonna put this into place. The way this goes, it'll be going with the head motor joint pointing backwards to the jaw, and this is gonna fit on these two sections just here. Now, if you look on the side of these, you've got some little locating lugs here, and here, and they're going to match the locating lugs we've got just in the sides here. As you can see, we've got some in here as well. So I'm going to clip that in now. That's one in. Just making sure that the holes are lined up as well. And it should sit quite nicely on its own in there like that. Now we want to take the other lower jaw parts, which had the uh, joint on looking just like this. And it's worth identifying the holes that this is going to attach to. We've got this one here and the same one on the other side here. And what we're going to do, quite simply, is we're going to be putting this jaw section together over the top of this. Now, bearing in mind that we want to match up the holes here with the holes just at the side that I've just pointed out to you. So we'll get that lined up. There we go, and they are perfectly lined up there. And then we're gonna be screwing this into place. Now the first thing we need to do is put the bush through there. Now that's what these two parts here that we've got still in the pack here. So I'll get them out. And quite simply, the bush has just got a, a little flange on top of it. You wanna make sure that you put the end in uh, that's thinner first. And we're gonna put that into place just on here to hold that into place. And there we go, that's the first bush in. 
and we're gonna, then going to put a two times 10 mil screw in there, the longer screws in this pack, through the bush, just into the whole part to keep that together there. Now I'm not going to put this all the way in at the moment. I'm just putting it in enough just to hold that in there so that I can then attach the other side here. So I'll put the other side in once again. We take the bush, just looking like that, drop that in the hole there, and then secure that in with one of the two times 10 mil screws. And then tighten that completely up. So that's one side done. Do the other side. And there you go, when that's all the way in, the jaw should still be able to go up and down there, but that's fixed there and there. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Now in stage 12, we're gonna be assembling the right forearm. So we're gonna uh, just take all these pieces out. We are gonna be needing some glue for this stage. The first part we need looks like this, and we're also gonna need all the springs here, which are the muscle springs. And what we're going to be doing, once they're all out here, we're going to be gluing these, each individual one, just into the cavities that you can see of this joint here. So we'll have one in there and they'll go all the way around into that. So let's get the glue together. I always use the top of the actual part here. Put some glue in there. And then what I can do is use a little dropper. This is just a pin vise just with a normal pin inside it. And then I can uh, apply glue just to this section here. Just make sure that I'm not caking too much glue onto it, just like that. And then we take one of the muscle points here and put that in and just press that into place. Now it could be beneficial to actually use a clamp just to keep this in place while we wait for that glue to dry. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I've got a clamp here and I'm just putting that over the top there just to hold all of those into place. So when that's in and attached, it looks just like that on both sides. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking this section here, which is part of the forearm. And as you can see, we've got a little hole just up there. We're gonna be attaching this facing down. That will also keep all of these uh, tendon springs into place. And we're just gonna lo locate it on that section, just like that, ensuring that these aren't tangled at this side. And in this hole here, we're gonna be putting a two times four mil screw. There are two types of screw in this pack, but this one is just the tiniest one. Looking just like that. So we'll just get that in now. Nice and tight. And there we go. That's that piece into place. Now this piece they're labeling as forearm A, and we're gonna be attaching this to this section here. Now there is a way this goes on. If you have a look at it, this is the uh, different sides of it. We want it this side round and right down the bottom here, you can see a little lug with a screw hole above it. That's gonna match the lug sort of like entry point we've got there with the screw hole. So when this goes in, it's actually gonna sit in just like that. But we're gonna be putting a screw in here, which is a three times 12 mil screw. This is quite a chunky screw, this one. Look, look at that, quite a big one. So we're gonna get this all together and we'll put this into place. So I'm just making sure it's completely lined up. and We'll get this screw in. There we go. And then that's that section on, looking just like that. All of these parts here are plastic, apart from the tendons, which are metal springs. But once that's done, that's all there is to do in that stage. Now in stage 13, we're gonna be assembling the neck, and as you can see, we're gonna be assembling another finger. So let's get this open. And the first bit that we need to take out is just the neck piece. We need to mix that with the neck piece that we had previously. And we also need the screws that come in this issue looking just like that. Let's get these open. So what we're gonna do is gonna take the joint that we did in stage 11. And we're actually gonna line this hole just in the side up there, just with this hole here. So it's gonna be facing down just like that. And from the other side there, you see that we need to put a screw in that. We've got the screws in this one, which are two times six mil screws. I'm gonna put one of those in now, just to hold that into place on this side. Screw that nice and tight into place. Now, before we connect the neck completely up, we're gonna be putting the jaw section on that we worked last time. And as you can see, this is the pivot point here, which has got some lugs 
either side which are actually just going to go into the holes of either side of the neck piece but we need to make sure we put it on the right way so basically as the neck bends this way it's this side that the jaw is going to go towards so when i put this on it's going to sit in just like that now we're going to be putting the other side of the neck on to keep all of that in place just like that and then we're going to secure it with some more two times six mil screws either side here So we've got one just down the bottom there. And I think you can see, as I just hold this together like that, how quickly this Terminator comes together. Because it's really starting to look like a Terminator head now and neck. We'll put one at the top here. And then we must remember, once that's all the way in, that we've got one just the other side here that I uh, needed to put in on the first side when we put the jaw on. So I'm making sure that's in. And then we secure that into place as well. And when you're happy with that tight, there should be no seams and stuff, should look just like that and that. And then all we gotta do is we're gonna put some plates just over these screw holes here on both sides just to hide those screws, which is why it's very important to make sure they're in and they're tight now. So those plates are on a sprue, looking just like that. So we get these cut off, and I've got my trusty sprue cutters here. One, two. Now these plates are labeled L and R, so you know where they're gonna go. Uh, if we're facing the head this side, then this is the right side, this is the left side. So as you can see, it will fit perfectly in there when I place this section in. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of glue here. Just into these lugs or holes, just to hold this piece into place. And then we'll put the first R section in, just like that, and that'll hold that in. We'll take the smaller piece here that's labeled R, and once again, just drop some uh, glue just into these holes here. Just like that. And then we'll put this piece in. Just like that. So that's what that's looking like that side. Do the same on the other side. We'll get it in just like that. And there we go. That's the neck and jaw piece complete. So next we're just gonna work on that other finger. So just like that we've done previously when we did the fingers, the first section we need looks just like that. And we're gonna be putting the fingertip looking just like that on the end, which means we need to put some glue just around the inside of the fingertip there. And that will keep that into place. So we push that on. And then we're going to be putting the first pin on. And once again, all we do is we take the pin and we've got a plastic sleeve here. We just push that sleeve through the pin and make sure it's all the way down the shaft of that pin there. Then we take the section that we just did there. This is going to go through the top of that and it will be a very tight fit. Just like that. And then we push that into place. Now what I do when I push it into place, I use the other side of a screwdriver and just push down with equal force on both sides of that. Then all we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting the bottom of the next bit of finger joint on here. That's just gonna slip over the top like that. Once again, I'm gonna push that into place so it's nice and tight. And as you can see, it's resisting itself already. And then all we got to do then is just drop a touch of glue just into the hole in the center and just the hole only, not the rubber gasket around it. And then we're gonna drop this tiny pin here just into that hole like this that will go in place and that's the first bit of the finger completed we're going to complete that in the next stage which is now now we're going to be adding to the right lower arm and assembling the fourth right finger so we've got all the parts in here for that so let's get these open and we're going to need to bring back the tendon and muscle section that we worked on previously and then we need these three tubes that you can see here so let's get them out one two three and i'm also going to need some screws for this one and the screws are in these packs 
quite long ones they are as you can see so we get these open and basically as you can see we've got different sizes we've got a longer one two of these actually and one shorter one basically the shorter one is going to go into the middle here and the longer ones are going to go onto the sides just here so what we'll do is we'll assemble the side one first now before we do that we've got some bushes to put in and the bushes are quite large they look a little bit like the finger joints we had but a lot larger there and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be dropping them in through the top here so i'm going to do one of the longer ones first on the side just like that then we're going to attach the longer arm tube just over the top like that pushing it in and then we're going to secure that all into place with a two times 16 mil screw which are these long ones here and that's just going to go in through the top here just going to drop that in and then secure that tightly now this is a long screw so it will take a long time to actually settle it into place but once it's in it should look like that and it should be free to move around like you can see there so we're going to do the same with the other side now i'll do the shorter one last so once again on the end there i'm going to drop a bush in through the top hold it in place this will be going at the bottom just like this and then i'll screw that in with the two times 16 mil screw just at the top there and we'll make that nice and tight there you go so now we've got two of those in and then last but not least we've got the smaller one looking just like that which is going to go exactly in the middle so we'll put a bush down the top there like that attach the section just underneath the tube and i'll screw this one into place this is the last one And there you go when it's completed we've got these three sections able to move looking just like that now we can put that to one side and we're going to be bringing over the finger that we were working on last time because we're going to just put the last sections of the fingers together here so i'll get them out and once again we just need these pins with the sleeves and i'll show you how these go in on this last section here the difference between these ones is on the pins here we do have one longer one and compared to the rest the longer ones used to attach it to the hand so all we're going to do is the side with the larger hole here is actually going to go below that section now we're going to be putting a pin in through this side so what we need to do once again we take one of the pins the shorter pins we'll push the sleeve on just like this make sure it's all the way down and then we're going to be pushing it into the bottom of the pin on this section here and then once again just making sure it's uniform all the way around then we push it down with our screwdriver so that goes all the way in all the way down just like that then we can put the second section here just over the top of the first section making sure that's nice and tight into place and again push it down so that it's not going nowhere and as you see it holds itself before i've even put the last pin in and then i put a drop of glue again just down that center hole there and we put a pin in place to keep that all together which looks just like that all we do then for the last section we've got the pin here with the sleeve on we're just going to push that on here making sure it's pretty uniform all throughout because we want to push this straight down onto there so then that's through just like that then we're going to be putting this section just over the top and making sure that's completely flat on there and then once again I'm just going to put a little bit of glue inside there and close that pin off here and as you can see that holds its own weight looking just like that and then all we've got to do is take this finger turn the hand over and this is just going to be going this way round just onto the section just there which means we need to put this into place as well so we've got a longer uh, section here I'm actually just going to push the shaft directly through the top of the hand now i am finding that quite easier to do actually then i put the pin in afterwards just like that that holds it into place so it comes out the bottom we'll attach the finger just on here like this push it down into place just like that and then once again we'll drop some glue just into the hole there and put the pin 
into place on the top. That holds that into place and as you can see we've now got three fingers attached to the hand looking just like that. And with this and this section here that's all there is to do in that stage. Okay, in stage 15, we're gonna be assembling part of the left head and the fifth finger on the right hand, which is the little finger. So uh, this is where the head's actually gonna to come together. And we're gonna to need these two pieces here first. And we're gonna need the screws that come in this. Now the head section here is metal. This interior section is plastic, but all we're gonna be doing is lining this up with the same shape so that the screw holes fit over the top, just like that. And in these two screw holes here, we're gonna be putting two of the PM screws which come in this stage. So we get these in. Nice quick section, this one here. One at the top, nice and tight, and then one at the bottom. And then that's all we need to do on the head section at the moment, because the next section we're gonna be working on is the last finger. But that should look just like that. So let's get the finger parts laid out. So we can pretty much rush through this now. So once again, we're gonna be putting the fingertip just on this section here putting just a load of glue just around the inside of that there. Then we're going to be securing it to this section here with the tab at the end, pushing it on and that holds in place. Once we've got that, I am finding it quite easier actually to actually just put the plastic sleeve in the part first and then putting the pin in afterwards. There might be a little tip there. <laughs> but it just seems to go in a lot better by doing it that way. Uh, so once we've got that section, the next section we have, they are quite different. You've got one with a longer section in the middle there and one with a shorter section in the middle there. It's the one with the shorter section that we're going to need first. So that's just going to go over the top of this one here, pushing it into place, making sure it's flat. And then once again, we'll drop some glue just into that hole in the middle and then put a pin in. Now, if you're not a dab hand of putting fingers in, by the end of this build, <laughs> well you should be very proficient at it okay so the next one this is going to be going just over the top here so once again i'm just going to push a sleeve just through this piece at the top here push the pin in all the way offer this up to this section here make sure it's nice and flat which it is there and then once again drop some glue just in the middle there and put another pin in like that see it's still holding its weight and then the last one we've got to do just this section here once again I'm going to push one of the sleeves just through the top bit here all the way putting a pin into that sleeve like that put in the last section here looking just like that over the top Make sure that's nice and flat in there and then once again drop a glue into the hole in the middle there and we'll put that last pin in and there we go that's the little finger completed we're just going to attach this to the hands now and then just like the last one we did this is going to be going on the bottom there so what i'll do is put the larger sleeve just through the top there and then the larger pin Following that, we'll put the little finger just over the top and press that down to make sure that's perfectly flat to that part. Just like that. Once again, drop a tiny bit of glue just into that section in the middle there. Put the cap on. So when that's complete, all the fingers should look like that. Now, it is worth noticing that I did have a, a little error there. I'll put the fingers in back to front. You want to make sure that these knuckle sections here are all facing upwards but the completed hand as you can see will look like that and it is holding its own as you can see which is really good but that is the end of this stage now we're going to be beginning the assembly of the lower arm and this is what the pack looks like for that so we're going to get these all out we've got three tubes we've got a little ratchet here we've got some washers in here and we've got some screws and the first thing we need to do is we need to take the arm joint from stage seven and we're more interested in the part at the bottom here because that's where this ratchet section here is going to go over now as you can see you've got four lugs in there they're going to match the four in here which means we need to drop some glue in there so we'll just put these into place here 
and we'll push this into place ensuring that there fits perfectly flat in there. Now we need to piece these two pieces together and as you can see we've got sort of like a line down this side and a circle on this side. We need to make sure that they are exactly lined up together like that. Then we're going to be taking the muscle section that we worked on last time and this is going to get, be going in the end here. And once again when we do that we want to make sure that the shorter end here is lined up with that line that I just mentioned before. So that's going to go in just like that there. And then we're going to need a three times 12 mil screw to hold all of this together. So it's probably worth making sure you have those screws ready <laughs> before you do this section here. But I've got these loaded up. Now this is going to go right down the very center of this. It's very hard to show you, but as you can see, you've got a screw hole there. That's how we're going to hold all of this together. Now before we put this uh, screw in, we just need to put one of the split washers just over the end of it here. which is hard to do when I'm holding everything together. <laughs> Just like that, we'll load up the screwdriver and then we'll get this into place. Oh, that's got in first time, so I'm happy about that. Screw that nice and tightly down. And there we go. That's that section complete. All we do now is to put that to one side, we're just going to be taking these sections here. We've got three of these tubes to do, and we're just going to be screwing a bush just over the end. Now, if you look at the bushes, you've got a wider section and a thinner section. It's the wider section that's going to be going over the end of this section here to be screwed in. Now, the screws that come with this are two times six mil, so we get them into place now. And they just screw into the end like this. And that's one done. We're gonna repeat that three more times. And then once they're in, all we're gonna do is we're gonna thread these tubes just into these sections here. One, two, and three. And that's now that section complete. Now stage 17 looks like that. We've got the top of the head. This is a very impactful part, this one. So let's get this out. This is all metal, very heavy it is. I'm just gonna put that down there for a second. And quite simply, all we're gonna do is we're gonna bring over the two parts of the cranium that we've worked on previously, looking just like that. We're gonna be attaching them to the inside of the head here. Now they are labeled up. You've got the R for the right side. And on this one, it says the L for the left side. So the right side's just gonna go in this side over here, just like that, lining up with the holes there. We're gonna be securing that in with the screws that come in this issue, which are two times four mil screws. Now they are the uh, shorter ones in this pack. So I'm just gonna get this lined up again and we'll screw the first part on, just like this. That's one side on. Do the second one over here. Nice and tight. And then we're gonna do exactly the same just with the other side here, mounting on just like that. So two times four mil screw again. First one on and last one. Is just going on the end here. Two. And that looks just like that when that's completed. Now we need to bring the hand part over again and we're working on the bottom sections here. We're going to be putting these ball joints on here which are going to attach the tendons. Now they're going to go on the three points that you can see just above the top here. So I'll get this open and I'll show you how we put these on. Now the easiest way I find to fix these is rather than screw them straight away is just to put a dab of glue just inside there to keep these in one place to stop it turning when we screw it in. So I'm going to do that now to all three of these areas here. That's number two and number three over here. Make sure we've got plenty of glue in there. Just like that. Put this one on the other side here. Like that. And the last one is going in here like that. Just let that glue dry and trust me, you're gonna appreciate this when it actually comes to uh, screwing that in. So I've got the first screw lined up here. These are actually set in now. It'll just help to hold that in place 
while we put that screw in and you just need to make sure that the screw is going in absolutely straight so we can get this part in quite easily another thing that might help just to put them in is to put a dab of oil just on the end of that screw to help lubricate that as the part goes in because this can be a little bit tricky but the oil and that glue holding it in place should make easy work of it for you and that's the second one in last but not least one more to do just into this side over here and that's the third one in nice and tight and it should be they should be flush on that side there but those ball joints should look just like that and with that and that that's all there is to do in this stage now we're going to be assembling the eye motor and support looking just like that so we get these pieces over out and what we're going to need to do is bring over this section here that we worked on last time so the first thing we're going to need to do is take the part from stage one which was the motor support looking just like that and that's going to fit over the top of the two pins that we've got in the eyes there that we put on so when i put this in i'll do this quite slowly we're going to put one over that side and one over that side so basically when this turns now as you can see it operates both lights that one's not on let's put that on just like that so as you see when it turns it's going to turn the eyes now we need to keep this into place which is why we've got this bracket here now this bracket is just going to fit over these two lugs just here and here so it's going to sit just like that it's also going to support the motor when we put the motor in but these are actually going to be secured in with 1.7 times 4 mil screws now they're the black screws that we've got in this pack here so i'll put the first one in and that will hold all of this into place excellent can let that go now we'll get the second one in just like that as you can see now that eye support now it will enable the eyes to turn quite easily without coming out now now we're going to be dropping the motor into that section there now the motor is going to attach to these two points on the bottom of that mount we just put in but we need to make sure this mounter section here is actually engaged in that joint just there so it's going to sit like that and now the motor is going to hold that into place so once again we need the black screws for this so i'll get them on and we're going to secure the motor down to the mount there so here's the first screw nice and tight that motor is now in place and we're going to put the second screw in just the other side here And that should look just like that when it's finished and then this is where things are going to come alive because we're going to be attaching the top section here to the to the mount on the top of the jaw there to actually piece all these together so this is three bolts underneath here they're going to match these three lugs on this side this is going to go over the top and make sure it's seated perfectly in that section just like that and we're going to be screwing it in from the underside there as you can see we've got three screw holes and they're going to be the silver screws that come in this pack and those screws are two times four mil screws so i'll get these loaded up and i'm sure once this is in you're going to be pretty impressed of how this looks <laughs> so i put the first one in i haven't done them too tight i just want it lined up for the minute so i can put it down without it all falling apart <laughs> here's the second one Once you've got them lined up then uh, obviously make them as tight as you possibly can and one more to go in just on this side it's very hard to show you on camera how this looks because it is hidden inside that section there but that is now the top jaw in place on the next section looking just like that put that to one side because we're just going to assemble the head motor now in this stage all of those parts look just like that and the first thing we're going to do is going to take the cog assembly and the cage that's going to fit in which look just like that and we're going to piece these bits together so that the two screw holes that we've got at the top 
we're going to match the two lug holes that we've got in there. So we put that in together just like that. We're going to need to put some screws in here and the screws that we're going to be using are the silver 5mm screws. So we get these in here, holding that in place and we'll put two screws in this side. That's one. And the other side here. That's two, so it should look just like that. Then we're gonna take the motor, quite a chunky motor this, because this is gonna operate the head here, and we've got a cage to put this in. And basically the motor's gonna fit into this side, like this, just over the top, into this recess here. It's actually gonna go in this way, so that the screw holes there fit either side of the motor. We're gonna secure that in with the silver flanged screws that we've got in here. And these are two times six mil screws easy to identify because they have got that flange on them and we're just going to put this into this side here. Here's the first one. And one in the other side. Just over here. Excellent. And then all we're going to do is we're going to marry up this part here with this part here that we've just put in, ensuring that the cogs are interlocked. So as you can see, we've got three screw holes around here. They're gonna match the three screw holes we've got in here. And when we put them on, we just wanna sort of slide it on so that the parts do intermingle with each other, just like that. So now the motor is engaged with this section here, but we need to hold all of this into place. Uh, to do that, we're gonna be using the silver uh, five mil screws that we had before. I keep calling these five mil screws, they're six mil screws. So my apologies for that. But uh, here's the first one going in. They, they are quite deep going into this section, but obviously the forces that are gonna be involved when we're actually turning this, they really do need to be tightly engaged. But uh, if you don't have that motor tightly engaged, I'm sure that this section here wouldn't fit flush to the actual motor. So make sure You've got no gaps around the outside here. Uh, one more screw to put in, which is this one just on the edge here. Nice and tight. And there we go, that's that section in. So when that's engaged, you should have all of those screws looking like that. And that's that stage complete. And all we're gonna do now is assemble and mount the head support and motor. So I've got these sections just here, which does mean we're gonna to need to bring over the head section here. And we need to look at the top here. As you can see, we've got three sort of triangle screws at the back here. They're gonna match this part looking just like this. And we're gonna be putting this into place. Now it can only go in one way because of those three screws. So you just make sure it's positioned over the lugs. It is slightly off center this one. It's not meant to sit in the center, just like that. We're gonna secure these in with two times four mil screws. Now these are the silver screws and they are the shortest silver screws in this section. So I'm just gonna put one section in first. That will hold it in place and then I can show you how I put the other two screws in. Just holding it by the neck there and then connecting it from the top. So that's the second one in there. And finally, we've just got the third one to place in which just goes in this side here. That's that mount section in. Then we're gonna be taking the motor that we did last time, but what we need to do is where we've got this circular section of the motor here, we need to make sure that's engaged with this section just here. So when we put this on, we make sure that, that pin is actually in the motor. So I'm just gonna muck around with these wires to get this seated correctly. But when it's in, it's gonna look just like that when it's engaged. Now when we're happy with where that actual motor is, we need to put the case on it to keep all of that in one place. And this is what the case or the top cover looks like. This is just gonna go over the top like that and it's gonna be secured down with the silver six mil screws which come in this pack. That's one in, let's get the other six mil here. Now that motor's going nowhere, but the most important thing is just to make sure that that motor is engaged with that section just there. I can't stress the importance of that. <laughs> Here's the second one just into the side there. You can see that closing the gap there to hold that motor in firmly. And 
we'll tighten the other side up here. Close the gap and there we go that's that motor now installed into the head unit. Now the last section we need to do is just put these braces here just over the screw hole at the top there and they're also going to attach just at the back onto this screw hole just here. So we get these into place as well they're going to be secured in with the two times four mil screws. So I think it's probably best to just line up the back ones first just like that then we'll get a screw in there. That's the first one in. I'll load up another two times four mil screw and we'll put that next section just on this side here. Here's the second one going in here. Now you can thread these wires through the back section afterwards and do some wire tidy on that. But for now, I'm just going to put them in to make sure that these mounts on top are in place. So we've just got these two to put in the front here. Just line them up over the pin there. There is a little pin to locate it just at the top there, a little plastic pin. So that's that one going in here. And finally, this is the last one going in the other side here. I probably will trace this ribbon cable just out the back here. I'm not quite sure where these wires do go at the moment, but they're looking just like that. But when it's completed, you should have that section looking like that the back looking like that and that is this full pack completed. Now I've taken a picture here of everything that we've done in pack one and two and as you can see we're really coming on fast with this. If you do want to get this yourself and start from pack one uh, just go down to the Agora Models website there and you can sign this up. This is worldwide so wherever you're based if you want some inquiries just go over there. They do have live chat there and they do answer emails really quickly as well so they'll give you any answers to any concerns you have but as you can see I've got a smile on my face. I love seeing this actually being built. Um, and it's really going to look good uh, as probably some sort of sentinel in the man cave when it's finally finished. But I really do hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.